High blood pressure, or hypertension, affects millions of people globally. It puts strain on your heart, arteries, and led to serious health issues like heart attacks, stroke, and kidney damage. While diet and exercise are often discussed as major players in blood pressure management, there's one factor that often goes unnoticed. Drinking enough water and hydration, or more specifically, dehydration. So let's first take a look at what dehydration is. Then we will go into the link between dehydration and blood pressure. Dehydration occurs when your body loses more fluids than it takes in. When you're dehydrated, your body tries to compensate by retaining sodium, which leads to your blood pressure going up. When you're dehydrated, your blood volume decreases. In response, your body activates several mechanisms to keep blood pressure stable, but in doing so, it actually raises your blood pressure. Your blood vessels constrict to maintain the flow of oxygen and nutrients, but this narrowing, or vasoconstriction, increases blood pressure. In addition, your kidneys, which regulate fluid balance, release more renin, a hormone that can also increase blood pressure by activating the renin-angiotensin system. This system plays a pivotal role in regulating long-term blood pressure and fluid balance. So instead of improving blood circulation, dehydration triggers processes that do the opposite, setting off a chain reaction that elevates your blood pressure. Many people believe that as long as they're drinking some sort of liquid, they're staying hydrated. But here's where the story gets tricky. Not all liquids hydrate the same way. In fact, some drinks can dehydrate you further. Take alcohol, for instance. While it may seem like a liquid, it's actually a diuretic, meaning it causes your body to lose more fluids through urination. The same goes for caffeinated beverages like coffee or soda. These drinks may quench your thirst momentarily, but they don't provide the hydration your body needs. They can even lead to more fluid loss, which aggravates dehydration and can push your blood pressure higher. Now that we've established how important water is for your blood pressure, the question remains, how much should you be drinking? The general recommendation is about eight glasses or two liters of water per day. But this can vary based on your age, weight, activity level, and the climate you live in. If you exercise regularly or live in a hot area, you'll need even more water to stay adequately hydrated. But this can vary based on your age, weight, activity level, and the climate you live in. If you exercise regularly or live in a hot area, you'll need even more water to stay adequately hydrated. Listening to your body is key. Signs like dry mouth, dark urine, and fatigue are subtle hints that you might be dehydrated. A good rule of thumb is to check the color of your urine sewing. It should be pale yellow. If it's darker, you need to drink more water. Let's dive into some research. Over the years, numerous studies have explored the link between water consumption and blood pressure. One study conducted by the American Journal of Hypertension revealed that individuals who were adequately hydrated had lower blood pressure compared to those who were even mildly dehydrated. Another study published in the Journal of Human Hypertension found that increasing water intake by just 500 milliliters a day significantly reduced blood pressure in participants with hypertension. This evidence underscores the importance of proper hydration as part of any blood pressure management strategy. In another study, researchers noted that people who consumed more than two liters of water per day had better cardiovascular health, including more stable blood pressure levels. It's fascinating how something as simple as water can make such a difference. While water is essential, it's also important to balance your electrolytes, particularly sodium, potassium, and magnesium. These minerals help your body maintain the right balance of fluids, and they directly impact blood pressure. When you're dehydrated, your electrolyte balance can shift, leading to issues like high blood pressure. Potassium in particular helps your body regulate blood pressure by counteracting the effects of sodium. This is why it's a good idea to not only drink water, but also consume foods rich in potassium, like bananas, sweet potatoes, and spinach. Now that we know the importance of staying hydrated, here are some practical tips to ensure you're getting enough water throughout the day. Start your morning with water. Drink a glass of water right after you wake up to jumpstart your day. Carry a water bottle. Having a reusable water bottle on hand makes it easier to stay on top of your hydration goals. Set reminders. Use your phone or an app to remind you to drink water at regular intervals. Add flavor. If plain water isn't appealing, try adding natural flavorings like lemon, cucumber, or mint to make it more enjoyable. 
Eat water-rich foods. Foods like watermelon, cucumber, and oranges are packed with water and can contribute to your daily hydration needs. With these simple strategies, you can stay hydrated and support your blood pressure naturally. Water is more than just a thirst quencher. It's an essential component of a healthy lifestyle, especially when it comes to managing blood pressure. While we often focus on food and exercise, hydration is just as critical. By simply drinking enough water each day, you can help keep your blood pressure in check, protect your heart, and improve your overall well-being. So, the next time you feel thirsty, remember, staying hydrated is an easy, powerful way to take control of your health. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insights on living a healthier life.